Today we're at the Isle of Arran on the west coast of Scotland, which is home to the South Arran Marine Protected Area, which is renowned for its amazing underwater life. And we're going to be joined today by a group of children who've come from Cumbernauld near Glasgow to go snorkelling. Now, even though Cumbernauld is only a short drive and a ferry journey across to Arran, most of these children will have never been here before, and some of them will have never even been in the sea in Scotland. So the idea today is to take them snorkelling, get them to see what's underwater for themselves, get them to understand what's actually in our seas, what's out of sight and out of mind underwater in Scotland. And hopefully, to help them form their own connection to the water. Now the reason we do this is that it was found that one in five kids in the UK has never been to the sea. And we want to help these young people to understand the ocean here, to find their own connection to it, and hopefully to care about it too. So the sun is shining, the wind has calmed down and we've got some lovely conditions to go snorkelling so we're really excited to get these children over here and get them to experience the ocean for themselves. We're running this session with COAST, the community of our and Seabed Trust, who are the stewards of this marine protected area. So they know all about it and they're going to help us understand it even better. Yeah, it's quite nice to be still doing well. Hello. Hi, I'm Laura. You're, you're, a you're the teacher. I'm the teacher. Well, I was the teacher. Hey, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. So the plan for today is we're going to have just five or ten minutes here, just having a little chat about the sea to start with. And then we're going to hand you over to Brian and Amanda, who are going to talk to you about snorkeling. We're going to go straight in the water. Um, and then we're going to come back and talk about how you felt, what you learned, that kind of thing. There's going to be hot chocolate and then lunch. We're going to get nice and warm. And then we're going to go into the Discovery Centre where we've got tanks with the most amazing marine species. Well, I know how to swim, but I've never been snorkeling. Can you put your hands up if you have ever been to Arran before? Hands up if you've ever been to this island before. So that is most of you've never been to Arran before. Okay, hands up if you have been to the seaside in Scotland before. That's all of you. Hands up if you've been in the sea in Scotland before. Because that's just three of you. So what I'd like you to do is before we go in, I'd just like you to jot down um, a few answers to my questions. So you can use just words, you can use sentences, whatever you want to express yourself. I'd like you to have a think and jot down, how do you feel about the ocean? What does the ocean mean to you? The ocean is a future curious, career. It's a curious, curious place. No. Mm -hmm. Curious place? Okay. Does anybody want to share? If you do, pop your hand up. Anyone want to share what the sea means to you? Yeah. It's very interesting and depends on how we treat it, it um, how we change our future. It's part of our ecosystem and it's a lot, it can be a lot more dynamic than land. I said, I love the ocean. It is one of the most beautiful things on earth. It makes me feel so happy and grateful to be alive. Right, next question. I'd like you to jot down a, f a few, just a few words, maybe three words, as to how you're feeling about going snorkeling today. So this could be anything. So however you're feeling, and be honest with yourselves, um, because there's no right or wrong answer here. So Ben basically said that he's excited to see what it looks like in the no-take zone, which is an area of marine protection that's been given to the sea here to help the life flourish. So, so Ben's excited to see that, which is super so, cool. Yeah, Katie? Yep. Yeah. Adrenaline, but then also like... I'm scared of the cold. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few giggles though, you're scared of the cold. Yeah. <laughs> right, so without further ado, we're going to get ourselves kitted up and get in the sea. Yeah, it should fit okay. It looks lengthwise already. That's its shoulders of the thing. Give it a try. So my teacher was just telling me and she went to um, talk to you about coming here. She was just talking to me about the no take zone, so. Um, I'm just kind of after I'm just excited to come and see uh, and see how it's going on because she told me that um, I think it came and scraped some of the stuff and then it's now I know it takes on so I'm excited to go and see what it's like. Yeah. After we've done the kind of underwater, I'm sorry. The kids have been really good sports. <laughs> They're having so much fun already. We've not even been in the water yet. Uh, they're a really good group and they're really up for it. Some of them are a bit nervous, understandably, because they've never actually breathed with their face in the water before, which is what they're going to do today with snorkels. 
but they all seem to be enjoying themselves, having fun, and they're up for it. So it's a really good start. <laughs> You're okay down there, Brooklyn. Thumbs up. How was that? Good. It's all right. It's fun. <laughs> they're usually sleeping in geography or maths or something like that at the moment. So. This is definitely heightened, heightened energy, very excited this morning. <laughs> There's a lot of them that have never been to a Scottish island either, so yeah. It's such a different experience. Yeah, it's absolutely. just a journey here and everything yeah. feels like you're, you're miles away and for them to see what is right here in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, I know. So one of the girls, when we asked what the sea means to her, the sentence she came up with is a future career. And that's amazing to hear that even at this age, she wants to be a marine biologist, she wants to work with the sea. And so hopefully this day will give her an idea as to what's actually here in Scotland and also potential career paths. You know, we're going to go to the Coast Discovery Centre now and have a look at more species and learn about marine conservation. And that might just give her some ideas as to where she wants to go with her career. So it's, it's a different day for everybody and I think that is that becomes more and more apparent the more of these sessions that we run is that we can't predict what this day is going to mean for an individual child. It could be so different from one person to the next and just allowing each person to have that experience and for it to mean something different to them and maybe develop into something different or maybe not is really important in the work that we do. Is we're not trying to tell them how they should feel, we let, just let them have that experience and let them take from it whatever is most important for them. I'm excited to get in now. Yeah, there are more kind of rocky areas where they can hide. Starfish also like eating this. And starfish have really strong arms. So they manoeuvre themselves over the shell and they use their arms to prise open a small gap. Over time, taking our time to get people used to actually breathing underwater, which I think is the biggest, most freaky thing for people. We started to come round, and one of the young ladies there, she was really nervous. So I got her to swim next to me, and as soon as she started seeing the crabs and the fish, she said, oh, this is so cool, this is amazing, this is really beautiful. And she's off now, she's off with a pal snorkeling around. So I think once people get an idea that it's really safe and that there's fun stuff to see, they don't want to be hampered by their nerves and by anxiety and off they go. So everybody's in, everyone's got their face in and oh, having a good time. He's our fish. He's our fish. Whoa, how was that? Was it cool? Yeah. Has this changed how you feel about the sea here? Ah, definitely. In what way? A good way, a good way. Yeah? Definitely a good way. You've done so well. Can you describe to me, in three words, how that snorkelling experience was for you? So just write down three words to describe how that was. 
Do you feel differently about the sea now that you've been in the sea snorkeling and seen it for yourself? Uh, there's like so much more to just what you can see on the surface. Like there's so much more to just in the water. There's like a whole ecosystem just down there. And that was surprising for you? It's not surprising, but it's like you really see yeah. how much there is and it's not just the water. It's really? like everything that lives in there and calls it its home. The only thought I'd see like maybe oh, yeah. one or two and I saw loads, they were everywhere so I was really interested in what was actually going on the seafloor because there was a lot more happening than I thought. I actually have a to the community and going, look what's out there, we really want to protect this. Stuff that has been achieved to protect the sea would not have happened. That's the best It was really good. Um, I found it very, very fun. Very fun. Very, very fun. It was like a whole new like experience. Like I didn't. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be like that. Yeah. Well, there were a lot more. Um, it was a little fish that I saw. I, I, I thought there'd be a lot less of them. I didn't expect to, for them to be so shallow. You know. Just in terms of confidence around the water, I think that was really clear to see. You know, some of them were quite apprehensive about even saying yes to coming. Um, and I. I kind of tried to explain that it would be a really safe environment and it would take things really slowly and you guys have been brilliant with them you know the instructors were brilliant with them and just seeing their confidence grow this morning I suppose um, and just their excitement about seeing what was under there you know for a lot of them apart from three I think none of them had been snorkeling before or had been in the water in Scotland before so um, yeah just seeing that sort of joy that yeah, it was a living or like ecosystem, you know, and it was very much alive. Yeah. Great, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Would you thank come back you. again? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If you get a chance to go snorkeling elsewhere in Scotland, oh, you do it. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Well, thank you guys so much. You were such great sports. You're brilliant. Thank and it's you. been, uh, honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend the day with you. So thank you. Oh, thank and I hope you. to see you again sometime. Of course. Yeah. Thank Should you. we get the bus? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, guys. Well, thank, is that everybody? I think so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really engaged bunch of young people. And I think, I really hope that's made a difference to their lives and to their understanding of the ocean here at home in Scotland. Um, yeah, it's just been brilliant. Really good day. Whew. Really good day. I'm ready for a cup of tea now. <laughs>